that's one thing you don't know right. is what the livestock have been fed, whether they're antibiotics, growth hormones, mm -hmm. uh, if uh, horses have been wormed. Uh, that's manure you don't really want to be brewing and mm -hmm. using. It can harm your plants. And again, uh, if you've got a, a large yard and you're getting green waste from your recycling centers mm -hmm. and that, uh, there is no toxicity testing done. And green waste is? Green waste is all of the trimmings that come from people's yards that go to a city recycling facility okay. and landscapers and that. So there's no way to determine who's been using what herbicide synthetic fertilizers. Mm -hmm. And when this material, being it is organic, uh, compost down, what doesn't compost down is the toxic levels of the fertilizers and that. So if you're going to your garden center, you want to look for the Mulch and Soil Council seal of approval. Mm -hmm. That's one step. Or you want to go to a product such as mine where it is harvested within a closed loop. Nice. See, that's the issue right there, in my opinion. Knowing where it comes from. And it doesn't just mean because it comes from Annie Haven, or it comes from other brands that are out there telling us that they are ex are totally organic. It comes from the step back of where is the cow eating, okay? Where is the cow's grain grown? Where is the cow's haze grown? So then it's just a huge step back and that's the connection that the consumer needs to have with their products. That's correct. And then, okay, we have a filler that may be straw, that may be whatever, as far as, you know, that they're eating or whatever, and that, that they, they mix. The filler is what they mixed with the manure for these other products. Now tell me, where does that filler come from? There's the issue there. Yeah. yeah. And with my product, Authentic mm -hmm. Haven brand, there is no, no filler. filler. No. So it it's is. It is from the south bound. What did you call it? <laughs> <laughs> I make my living at the south end of a north facing cow, yeah. or horse. Or horse. Either way. Either way. I saw it firsthand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so yes, I, I'm 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 very close and personal with my livestock, and mm -hmm. and <laughs> and I feel that's the added benefit to my consumer. Right. Absolutely awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful information. I've had a wonderful time here at the ranch. And now I'm headed down the road to another stop on my Magical Miniature Garden Tour here in the West Coast, so with Jeremy Miniatures. Well, Yay! I can't thank you enough, Arlena, for coming here to the ranch. As humble as we are, like I said, the main home built in 1853, uh, my home built, it's, we've been here for a while. It's a working ranch. It is. It is. <laughs> and we didn't make her prune any roses, though. See, and I'm upset with that because <laughs> I have a really new, cool new pruner that I want to test out that uh, one of my people are going to send me. So I'm really excited about that. Well, we hope that you will put us on your list Please bring the crew, come stay yes. like you did this time next year. We're looking Love forward it. to it. We're, we're going to be following you across the country on your miniature, magical miniature garden tour. Yes. And awesome. thank you. Thank you so much, Danny. <laughs> Wonderful. Bye, folks. Bye. Before I headed down the road, Annie shared with me one of her passions, a day of roping in Southern California. Hello, welcome to Garden Wise Living. I'm Arlena Schott, and I'm here with Brian Barfneck, who is the fun guy and founder of this wonderful furniture behind me. It has a wonderful story and I'd like to share that with you. It's actually barely living furniture and it's made from recaptured wine barrels, correct? Yes, like ma'am. He's gonna share with us his story and show us some of his wonderful furniture. Where do you live exactly? I live in Pala, California, mm -hmm. which is Northern San Diego County. 
Yes. It's about five minutes from Temecula. Yes. And Temecula is kind of located right between LA and San Diego. Right. So to kind of pinpoint us on the sure. map, that's about where we are. Sure. When he told us how to come here, we followed him here because obviously we thought we were going to be lost because it's nice and windy and out in the countryside of this beautiful Southern California. I'm actually on my magical miniature garden tour with Jeremy Miniatures. So when I heard Annie Haven had a friend who made this beautiful, beautiful furniture. I thought, you know what, we need to capture your story. So we're here for that. Explain to me a little bit about your business. It, what is the business name? Your business it's name? called Barely Living. Nice. So it's kind of a play on words. Um, I started it in December of 2011. Mm -hmm. The economy being slow, I was out of work with construction and things. And uh, like I said, a friend's dad had showed me a few pictures of some things they had seen in uh, Northern California, Napa area. And uh, I basically went and got some barrels from uh, one of the local wineries that w we've done concrete and things for in the past. And uh, they were more than willing to help me out. They gave me a couple of barrels to get started and I came up with a few designs for chairs and things. And from there, it's just kind of blown up and uh, gotten a little bit crazier with some of the, the things that we build and always wanted to build furniture not necessarily out of wine barrels but it just kind of came about so That's wonderful it's a wonderful way to upcycle yes correct? most definitely i love it and it's unique and it's different so tell me where do you sell your product where do you sell um it? i sell it privately to people um i sell it at swap meets mm -hmm. i sell it at the, some of the local wineries here in temecula uh, wilson creek winery being one of them uh, Robert Renzoni Vineyards and uh, Briar Rose Winery. All three of those awesome. carry it so far. So for being a very, not around very long, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's real nice to have people local that support another local guy like me. Nice. So that's perfect. Tell me a little bit about the chair that you're sitting in there. Uh, well, this is an Adirondack chair. Would be the style of chair that it is. Um, this particular chair is built from a red wine barrel, so the staining inside is purple in color. Um, different like uh, champagnes and white wines would leave a brown toasting inside. Um, so this, this particular style of chair um, incorporates one whole wine barrel to make the chair. We do brand our logo into everything, uh, Barely Living. Uh, we want to get that well known as well as into the barrel heads here. Um, for some of our tables and things and so we've done custom logos anything from other people's uh, winery logos to uh, we've done some skulls some skull head branding for the, the metal militia which is uh, pretty big for us that was a real fun project and to do something that neat and custom um, was pretty neat to see done and, and finished and delivered to the customer it was a really uh, fun project so we do regular benches that would just sit on the ground, but this is something where you can sit with your friends and uh, drink your wine. We do table designs and things that are height incorporated so that they go right along with your furniture. You can set your glass of wine and chill out, hang out, and uh, just enjoy your afternoon. We do uh, all kinds of other things from mild to wild. We do wine bottle holders and uh, things that have you know, unique applications where you can not only incorporate your wine bottles or your glasses, your bottles, um, you know, once again we do custom branding. Uh, you could put a, your wine cork opener and things right in the middle and it's kind of like a little personal tasting station as well as something that's a total eye catcher in your home. So it's very easily utilized. Um, the way these are positioned, it helps keep the cork moist so that that's, you know, a key element with wine bottles and storage. And down here, you can always you can back this up to have uh, six bottles down below and uh, seven up above. So it makes a very large wine holder. So if you want to display your wine collection, it doesn't take up a lot of space in your home. But once again, it's very, uh, very showy. So a very one of a kind, unique piece for the home. This here is oak wine barrels inlaid with mesquite hardwood in this kind of unique pattern and then all wrapped with barrel bands a little diamond in the center to kind of make it a little more dressy and unique definitely one of a kind you won't find a table like this anywhere else and then we also incorporate a shelf underneath for either decoration or display or and then in our goof off time we do some little uh, goofy furniture sets with uh, 
champagne bottle caps. My friend Kevin, a buddy of mine that helps me with uh, do the furniture in his spare time. He has a regular job but believes in what uh, I'm trying to do and build as a business and so he comes out and helps and at his work he works in the restaurant industry and takes and collects all the uh, champagne bottle caps and makes little unique furniture stuff out of them just for fun. So this here is like a little uh, freestanding party station. It's uh, got the table on the top. It can hold up to 18 wine glasses down below, uh, nine on either side, and it can hold a total of five bottles underneath here. So you just pretty much, uh, it can takes up very little room, about two and a half feet by two and a half feet. So it can go anywhere in your home and it's easily used uh, to entertain as well as show off. This is a barrel head table. It's kind of modernized in design. It takes the barrel bands and we put them on the outside as well as the inside to back up and support it so that it's very, uh, it's sturdy but unique looking. And then we take the barrel straps so it gives it the, the appearance of looking like partial wine barrel. And then once again, we brand the heads and we like to put up the heads, you know, that are, uh, have the barrel makers logos and things to make it a really unique looking table. Thank you Brian for sharing with us your barely living wine barrel furniture. Now it's time to say goodbye to Annie Haven and her natural brew in San Juan Capistrano. Thank you for being a wonderful host. We've enjoyed the visit here on the ranch. I'm heading down the road for the next stop on my magical miniature garden tour with Jeremy Miniatures. We stop off at independent garden centers across the states to share the magic of miniature gardening. If you would like more information on what you've seen on this show or other shows, log on to my website, www.gardenwisetv.com, or you can follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also log on to Facebook and come to our wonderful group called The Chicken Group, or you can follow us along on the tour on the Miniature and Fairy Garden Chat Group on Facebook. If you would like to see where I'm venturing to on the 2013 tour, log on to my website and go to the Miniature and Fairy Garden Workshop Tour page. It gives a listing and times of all the places that I will be. I would like to say a special thank you to Annie Haven, a wonderful friend and a wonderful garden person. Also, thank you very much, Brian, for sharing your beautiful furniture with us. I'm your host, Arlena Schott, and don't forget to garden wise.